Hey guys, this week we're reading Friendship for Three, written by the fourth graders of Samuel S. Nixon School. Once upon a time, a bird, a cat, and a deer lived in a forest. They each were happy and enjoyed doing their own thing. There was a bird devoted and hardworking mother of six. She kept a neat nest, gathered twigs from the forest, and collected lots of food for her babies every day. The deer was a fun-loving, caring sort of guy who loved to roam the forest. He talked to the other animals and helped them whenever he could. The cat was only was a sly and clever animal. He lived in a cave but often came out to look for tiny birds to eat. He spotted the bird many times and thought how nice of a meal she would be. One day the bird was out in a forest. A hunter was also there hunting for deer. The hunter spotted the deer, took aim, and fired. The bullet whizzed by the deer and bounced off of a branch. The bullet struck the bird, and the bird fell to the ground. She was seriously hurt. Later that day, a deer wandered back to the, where he had almost been shot. He saw the bird on the ground and realized what had happened. He immediately started to try to save the bird. He made a comfortable bed for her and she tried to stop her bleeding. But the bird didn't want the deer's help. She wanted to get back home to her babies to take care of them. The deer said, I'll take care of your babies. After the deer patched up the bird, she felt more relaxed, and so she set off to feed the bird's babies. When he got, when he got the, to the tree, he realized he had a problem. He thought to himself, how am I going to get up the tree to feed these babies? At that moment, the deer saw his friend, the cat, who was searching for food. He called the cat over and told him what happened. The bird, he asked, the cat for help. Sure, replied the cat, I'll go up and have them for lunch. No, you won't, screamed the deer. I promise to take care of the babies. If you want to remain my friend, you'll help. Okay, replied the cat, what do you want me to do? The deer explained that he would dig up the worms, but the cat would have to climb up the tree and feed the babies, and that is exactly what happened. After the babies were fed, the deer asked the cat to stay close to the babies to keep them warm throughout the night. Then the deer went off to care for the injured bird. The cat climbed up the tree, sighed, and thought, if my dad could see me now, as he cuddled himself around the babies, although he was tempted to have them for a meal. He remembered that he had a promise to help and not to harm them. After a few days, the bird was well enough to go home. The deer lowered his head and invited the bird to hop onto his antlers. The deer then carried the bird home. When they arrived at the bird's home, she started shrieking and screaming at the sight of the cat in the nest. The deer tried to calm the bird down. He said, the cat helped take care of your babies while you were injured. Then the bird flew up to the nest and saw that her babies were just as healthy as ever. So the bird flew down and gave the cat and the deer a big kiss. The end.